There's a pretty incredible workbench out there that I think could probably be used for other uses than its intended use, as well as how well it works. Um, this is known as the Mars Guitar Workbench. So this would be a third method that I'm showing how to make a guitar body in FreeCAD, and this is a way that is extremely fast and quite powerful. Uh, you have to go to the Add-on Manager, right? This is in version 019. That you come down here and say Mars. Um, I think this is a pretty new workbench. So you select that, click Install, and then restart FreeCAD. And this is what the uh, Mars Guitar Workbench looks like. Okay, I'll create a new document now. And we have several options up here. Of course, the first option we need to choose is Create an Instrument. And then all, all these other options uh, start to uh, you know come about. Maybe the first thing I'll do is create a guitar body. Isn't that a beautiful guitar body? And then I'll create a guitar neck. There's our neck. And then I also have the option to create a fretboard. So I've got my guitar body, my fretboard, and my, um, you know, head of my guitar. Uh, so you're probably thinking, all right, that's not that great looking of a guitar, but wait. There's more. Let's actually open up an SVG file that can be opened with Inkscape. So this is an Inkscape file that is made available by the by the author of the Mars Guitar to Design Workbench. And uh, so this is provided with that. You can download it. I'll add a link in the description to where you can get the uh, SVG file. Now you can see, uh, and I am not a user of Inkscape. I think this is like an open source equivalent of CorelDRAW or something like that. But you have a certain formatted line for the body. You have other formatted lines for the pockets and holes. And then you have a midline reference. And when these things are formatted correctly, um, you can import this into the Mars Guitar Design Workbench. So this is the file that I'm using, and it again is made available for download by the author, which I'll put a link in the description. And we'll import a guitar body here. And of course, I will go find it in my uh, files window. So there it is with the... Uh, body selected and we've just read the svg file and the workbench has done all the work for us in addition if we want to do some fine tuning no pun intended i can go to my um, instrument parameters tab and notice we're on data and we're going to say something like uh, i want to change my neck pockets to say two right and then i update my guitar and we've just updated the depth of our neck pocket which is a ridiculously small two control z does work on this workbench so there we have a nice update we don't have to uh, try to remember what values that we put in if we don't like our updates but there are all sorts of parameters in here that we can change and i can drag this over here to see a little bit more of the titles and whatnot uh, so, you know, we can go to like a headstock depth of 250. And we update to a headstock depth of 250, right? So this covers a lot of possibilities of being able to update some of this stuff. Um, likewise, I can import a headstock shape. And again, this is another SVG file that's downloadable from the author. So we've got a much better looking headstock shape. And we can um, import some fret inlays, and this is a fun one because it can add designs onto the fretboard. Again, another SVG file that will be made of or that can be downloaded. I'll put a link in the description. So there we have, you know, some designs on our fret inlay. So this is a very fast, very easy way to make a guitar, just contingent that you're good at Inkscape, which I am not, so I'm using all of the default files. 
that the uh, author has provided. You can also customize it using the parameters in, uh, in our data tab here. All right, so when we have a guitar, I want to also make the point that I can open up my SVG file. Let's take a look at our custom body here. And you really can, and I, again, I'm not very good at Inkscape, but if I do something wacky like this, I'm going to call that delete because I am going to delete that. But if I make a wacky contour, and I import my wacky contour, You really can bring in just about any shape of guitar that you want to when it comes to the outline. I think I read somewhere that the author was also working on some curvature on the front face of the guitar. So this will be a really incredible workbench. I hope this helps a bunch of you. And uh, if it does, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.